Well, hello, Shoreline Church. This is your devotional for September 22nd. Uh, Happy Wednesday to you, and I hope you're continuing to feel God's blessing and encouragement through these times of uh, of just devotional reflection. As we're walking through the book of James, I love the book of James. Uh, Every verse is just kind of rich and filled with great things. So today we're just going to look at just one verse, and it's James chapter 1, verse 12. And I'd ask you to listen to these words and and let your heart be encouraged. Uh, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Uh, There's a lot in this one little verse. Uh, Here's here's my theme. Hang in there. Uh, Hang in there. Uh, There's a prize ahead. And recognize that God understands the challenges we face, that God knows there's an end game in mind, and and be hopeful even in the middle of difficult difficult times. So I want to read this one more time. And and that you would hear these words, you know, blessed or blessed is the one who perseveres under trial. You're blessed when you hang in there under a trial. This has an implication. It's a challenging one. And here it is. There will be trials. Anyone who tells you that when you become a Christian, life will always be easy, they're selling you something. It's a con game. They They haven't read the book I'm holding in my hands here. Because our Savior, who was obedient to the Father, ended up on a cross. The Apostle Paul, who followed Jesus, was strapped up and beaten five times, beaten with rods, shipwrecked, uh, almost killed by being stoned. Some rough stuff. I mean, it's like, it's like, well, no, but if you follow Jesus and you're really faithful, it's going to go your way. No, if you follow Jesus, he's always with you. And there's amazing things in this life. But there's trials. There are challenges. And so first, trials will come. And, and what are yours right now? What are you walking through? And you're recognizing that there's an end game, that God's still with you, and that there, there, there's a hope in the future that you would hang in there. And then just the encouragement that you can stand. It's implied in this passage to stand strong, to hang in there. You can make it through this. Why? Because God is with you. And I will tell you this. If you're going through a tough time right now, a health time, a relational time, a financial time, there's all kinds of different situations we can face that are difficult. Whatever it is, it will have an ending point. That ending point might be in this life. It might be in a day, a week, or a month. It might be, some of the trials I've walked through and the challenges have been years and years. One of my biggest challenges, one of my biggest trials was just mourning and struggling with my dad for four decades over his resistance to Jesus. Uh, That's a spiritual burden, but it was a challenging journey, but he came to faith in Jesus. And and that's over, but guess what? I got some other trials now and I get to walk those roads. And so I just challenge you to know, to hang in there, to hold on to Jesus through this time. And then there's a crown. There, there, there is hope. There, there is a reward. And I love how this, this 12th verse ends. They, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Keep loving Jesus. Keep walking with him. Keep your eyes fixed on him. Trust in him. Do your part. Do all that you can. But also keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. And know that when it's all said and done, Your hope is heaven. Your hope is a crown. Your hope is the glory of God and the presence of Jesus forever and ever and ever. So be encouraged. My prayer for you is that you would keep your eyes on Jesus through whatever you're going through. And so, Lord Jesus, this is our prayer. Would you help us to keep our eyes fixed on you in the trials, in the struggles, in the difficult times? Lord, we don't pretend they don't exist. We don't pretend that if we love you, everything will always go our way. But we thank you that you never leave us. We're never alone. You sustain us and strengthen us. And we thank you, Jesus, that in those difficult times, we can remember that there is a crown. There is glory ahead. Let us hold to you and walk with you no matter what we're facing. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we'll see you Sunday morning. Indoor services, outdoor services, online services. We got it all. And wherever you are, you're part of the family. So be with us in worship and we'll see you on Sunday. God bless you.